Hi, my name is Tom Davidson. I'm a postdoc in the Dice Rock Lab. Uh, I'm going to show you a trick to couple laser light into a fiber optic uh, using two steering mirrors. Um, the trick involves backfilling the coupling optics with a second laser so that you can visualize the path that the incoming beam needs to follow in order to be properly coupled. The setup we have here is a typical two-color um, laser table. Um, blue laser, which is steered along an inner path, coupled into um, fiber optic, and a yellow laser, which is coupled along an outer path, um, and then after this second steering goes through a dichroic mirror so that the two beams can be combined and coupled into the same fiber. Um, for the alignment demo, I'm just going to um, use the uh, blue laser. Uh, same principle applies if you want to uh, align more than one laser at a time. Uh, this tool is a fiber optic visual fault locator, as hopefully you can uh, see. Um, what it is is a um, five milliwatt red laser diode um, with a little bit of simple optics at the end here to couple that laser light into um, any standard fiber optic connector of the the first step is to do a course alignment. So we've turned the blue laser on um, and we've positioned the two steering mirrors such that blue light is aimed roughly at the coupler if you want. So what we're going to do is attach a fiber to the back of the coupler. Um, that's the fiber we're going to try to be coupling our light into. Um, and then we're going to take the other end of that fiber. In this case, it's just a bare ferrule, but it might, it could just as easily be a um, FC connector. Attach it to our fault locator um, and turn it on. Now what you'll see um, is that the red light that's being coupled into that fiber is actually being projected out of the coupler um, and it's following a particular path and this path it turns out is exactly the path that any light that you want to couple into the fiber um, is going to have to follow. So what I'm going to do now is turn on the um, fault locator. So now what you should be able to see is that in addition to the blue light there's a, um, a blinking red light and you'll see these are not aligned. Um, and here's the trick. Um, the trick is to, to take a piece of paper which is, uh, or something which is translucent. So the red light is actually shining from behind the paper, the blue light is coming from the front. Let's see if that works a little better for the video. I think it does. Um, to bring this close to the second mirror here, and to use the first mirror over here to uh, find, to line the, the blue light laser beam up with the center of that red dot. So that's roughly correct. Um, we're then going to use the second mirror to do the same thing, to align the blue beam um, with the red beam. We're going to do a couple iterations of this just because um, it helps. Um, so what you can see now as I move this card along here is that the blue and red beams are collinear. Um, and since we know that the red beam represents the basically the acceptance beam of the fiber, uh, we know that that blue light uh, should be coupled well into the fiber. So let's check. Ta-da! If we now measure the power going into the coupler, it's about 0.9 milliwatts. And 
And if we measure the power coming out of the fiber, it's about uh, 0.8, a little better than 80%, which is about as good as it gets.